Hello Crestview Elementary School and welcome back to the Reading Corner. It is so good to see you again for another story. This week I have a special story and it is called Russell the Sheep. Let's get right into it. Russell the Sheep lived in Frog's Bottom Field. At the end of a long, busy day, night fell and the sheep got ready for bed. Soon all was quiet, except for Russell. No matter how hard he tried, Russell could not fall asleep. Maybe if it were really dark, he thought, I'd be able to sleep. But the really dark really scared him. Perhaps I'm too hot, he thought. Ooh, perhaps I'm not. Russell pulled up a pillow, but the pillow hopped away, hopping mad. Maybe I need a better place to sleep, he decided, and he went for a walk. Russell spied the trunk of a rusty car. It was too cramped. He tried the hollow of a tree. That was too creepy. Russell even tried sleeping on a branch, but it was too crowded. What's a sheep to do? Russell thought he would never get to sleep, but then he had a brilliant idea. What if he tried to count things? That would make him fall asleep. Russell counted his feet. One, two, three, four. <sighs> Not tired. Hmm, I guess I need more feet, he decided. What next? The stars. Russell counted each and every one. One, two, three, four, five, six hundred million billion and ten. And Russell was still wide awake. He counted them again. Six hundred million billion and ten. Still wide awake. Russell thought very hard. In fact, he thought so hard, his hat went ziggy, zaggy. I know, he shouted. I'll count sheep. One, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine. Still awake, he said inside. Then Russell realized he had forgotten to count one very important little sheep. Himself. Ten. Russell felt a tickle, then a twitch, and then oh, sound asleep. By now it was morning and all the other sheep in the field began getting ready for the new day. Soon everyone was awake. Everyone, that is, except Russell. I think he enjoyed his night of sleep. Well, there you have it. Russell the sheep. Crestview Elementary School, I hope you enjoyed that story. And thanks again for stopping by to the Reading Corner. I look forward to seeing you next week. I hope you're enjoying your summer, finding time to read, relax, and spend time with your family. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you real soon.